big we. Oh, oh, you like the Sam? Oh, do you like the Sam? <laughs> hey, Haggis. Hey, Bow. Hey, Diamonda. Hey, Sticker. Oh, don't show your butt to the audience. Don't show, don't show the people your ass. They gotta pay to see your butt, Sam. You gotta make them pay for the goods. Hey, Anunnaki. Uh, hey. Uh, hey, Titney. Hey, Strawberry Punch. Hey, Haggis. Hey, Brooke. Thursday line. GL, maybe. Uh, Cutie, or hey, Dolly. Sorry. Hey, Ageless. Hey, Loretta. Uh, hey, comic work. Just started making dinner. Cool. Hey, Chibi. Hey, Ryan. Hey, Key Lime. In a tizzy. Rusty Spoons. Fernanda. Gail Future. Lisa. Hey, Nature Girl. What's for dinner? Meatloaf. <laughs> look at his, look at him with his head way up in the air. Look at him, like, just, look at that head. You goofball, Sam. Hey, Peach Gobbler. Hey, Nicole. Hey, Sunshine Granny. Hugs. Hugs for Sam. Sam gets big hugs because he's a good boy. Love me, love. So do I matter. Hey, Adele. Hey, Yarn Picks. Hey, Nicole. Hey, Naripsa. Back rooms. Hey, Sev. Hey, Gail. Hey, Waterman. Barbara. Yeah, I'm feeling better today. Thank you for everybody who uh, wished me better. Hey, Sala. Hey, Em. Hey, Rachel. Two questions. Uh, hey, Big. Leave out the norovirus. Is there an easy way to tell if meat is starting to go bad? Second question. Is this meat starting to go bad? Uh, I should wear blue more often. I mean, this is purple. Who cut my hair? Nobody. Hey, Marion. Smell. Say it has. Hey, toddler. What's the expiration date? Uh, 24, so it is past the expiration date. Uh, how long is it in the fridge? Uh, what did I make the, uh, gray or red? Brownish, I guess. When in doubt, throw it out. Yeah, probably the red. Probably. I did put some other, uh, some more, don't risk the biscuit. Only past the expiration. Uh, I mean, this one's also the 24th, but it's been in the uh, freezer for the past few days. I put it in the fridge last night, but. Um, when did I make the, uh, when did I make that spaghetti? That would have been like, what, Thursday, Friday, Wednesday? When did I make the spaghetti? Hey, BBA. Hey, Project. Hey, Gamer Girl. Hey, Ariel. Four days ago? So it's been sitting in the fridge for four days then. Five days, technically. Hey, kill face. Oh, yes, bread crumbs. Get the bread crumbs out. Hey, 
Hey, Jezebel. Name is cute. He is. Um, he might be a. He might be a. Still good. Oh yeah, it's still good. Until twenty twenty three, August twenty twenty three. Hey, prodigy. Let's put the ah. Uh, that sad cemetery. Um. Hey, Michaela. Great. Grab an onion. Will Sam be getting a smidgen of fallen beef? Probably not. Uh, black pepper? Yeah, I've got a little bit of black pepper. Um, Sam! Alright, you know what, Sam? I'm sorry. I gotta put you down, Sam, just because, uh... You're getting in the way for me cooking. Or at least cutting. Diced tomatoes? I don't have diced tomatoes now. Hey, Drill. Uh, green peppers? No. How's Casey? Whiny. Whiny and demanding. That's how she is. Ketchup in my meatloaf? Yeah, I think a lot of people do. Um, at, at, like at the very least, on top of the meatloaf, is I think what uh, what usually what you usually do. Worcester sauce? Yeah, I'll put I'll put a little bit of Worcester sauce. That's weather? Uh, not too bad. I'm a good cook. No, no, I'm not a good cook yet. Uh, what shirt? Uh, what shirt is it? It's my Dazzler T-shirt. The uh, Sounds of Light and Fury tour. 1983 World Tour. So, yeah, Dazzler, comic book character, Sounds of Lane Tour. So, explanation on Dazzler. Um, she was created 1980. She debuted in 1980 uh, during in uh, Uncanny X-Men, during the Dark Phoenix saga. Um, she was actually created as a... Uh, it was like a uh, marketing thing. So Marvel, Columbia Records, and I think it was Columbia Records and Universal Studios, I believe. I could be wrong about that. Uh, sort of all got together as part of a uh, cross-promotional marketing thing. Um, brings back pride memories, yeah. So yeah, those three got together as a uh, marketing thing. So what they were going to do, they would put out, Marvel would do, to, do a comic, Columbia Records would do a, a, an album, and uh, Universal Studios would do a, or whatever studio it was, would do a movie, all based on the same character, Dazzler. Um, she was initially based on Grace Jones, uh, which was awesome. But then, uh, I think the, uh, studio wanted to go with, uh, oh, what's her name? Um, Bo Derek. Uh, so she ended up being based on Bo Derek. And, uh... Not frozen lasagna? No, King. Not so... Uh, hello, uh, Seth King. Uh... Farrah Fawcett? No, uh, was it Farrah Fawcett? Was it Fawcett or Derek? Safe as in, yes it is, Bree. Hey, Ziggy. <laughs> this one works fine, honestly. Um, so anyway, what was I saying? Right, um, so they, uh, one of the most beautiful women. Oh, Grace Jones is amazing. Um, in the end, uh, both 
the record and a movie both ended up being ended up not happening. Marvel still put out the uh, the comic. Um, so she still still debuted in uh, and Kenny X Men. A couple years later, a year or two later, she got a uh, uh Chantal Kill face. Nothing serious though. Um, a couple years later, she did get a solo album. Uh, the concept behind Dazzler is that she is a mutant uh, singer. So she, uh, like, wanted to put an album. So her debut album in the comics was called Sounds of Light and Fury. And uh, 1983, I think, was uh, when that uh, storyline debuted. So I do protect trans rights cat. Hey, DG. Am I done? Where do I turn memberships? Um, I'm honestly not sure how to post the link uh, while, I've, uh, while I'm on here. Where do you get your t-shirt? Uh, I got it from uh, T Public, Omega Level Threat. She's not Omega Level, like, she's not Omega Level, but she is actually really powerful. And what a weird ass fucking, like, she's had weird adventures. She fought Doctor Doom. Uh, she was very briefly a fucking Herald of Galactus. She was sent to uh, prison for uh, absorbing a dude made of sound, accidentally absorbing a dude made of sound, uh, where she got in a prison brawl. It was a weird ass uh, series she had. Uh, hey, Lambo. Shira? No, talking about Dazzler. Like, her... The Dazzler series was so goddamn weird. Rarely actually, like, rarely legitimately good, but really weird. But she's a great character. Dazzler's such a good character. So me love. Uh, all I've done so far, DG, is a uh, bunch of that on roller skates. Exactly, Salamander, yeah. She did it all on rollerblades. Make me mod. I haven't modded anybody yet. Uh, all right, so. Um, I imagine I will need some sort of dish for mixing in the meatloaf. Do I have anything good for that? Uh, give me a second. I don't think I have a mixing dish. Mixing bowl. The hell did you tell mix stuff in? The hell? I don't have an actual mixing bowl. Which is like, how do I? How did you tell mix stuff? I don't know how I don't know how likely I am to use uh, to actually use this thing, so I'll just mix it in this shit, I guess. the sink or bathtub. A little bigger. Yeah, I think this will work. Um, hmm. Again, I probably don't really need to use... Yeah, I can just make multiple meatloafs all at once. Mix it in there, then cook it in there too. Didn't defrost as much as I would have uh, hoped.
mini meatloaves and cake mix. I actually did, uh, I did pick up some mini, these are actually smaller than I thought, but I did pick up some mini loaf pans. These honestly feel like they'd be like the perfect size for like a personal meatloaf, honestly. Uh, egg, yes, I do have eggs, I do have breadcrumbs. I have panko. Both love beef, yep. Still feels a little, I uh, haven't turned the oven on yet, no. Stick that me in the microwave. Yeah, I probably should. It is a little bit on the uh, cold side still, so yeah, I think I'll defrost it. I'll just toss it in the uh, in there for a couple minutes. Let it melt in my mouth. Word button. Yeah, I think what happened. Um, my sleep pattern, my sleep schedule's been really fucked up again lately, as usual. Um, oh, uh, good night, kill face. Yeah, my uh, sleep schedule's been fucked up again. Um, so that was catching up to me. Also, I did walk to the grocery store last uh, yesterday to get a couple things, and uh, yeah, walking back I think is uh, I think mostly the walking back in particular really tiring. So, freezing? No, it wasn't. It wasn't that cold. No, it was uh, pretty comfortable, honestly. Um, like it was a comfortable temperature. It was just the walk itself. Hey, plain cheeseburger. Hey, Beverly. Hey, Jenna. Ooh. No, I did walk back. It sucked. Uh, Comper, the only, I mean, the only... I haven't told... Uh, I, I mean, I've told Chantel, but I haven't told my mom yet. New shirt? Uh, I got it a couple months ago. I got the t-shirt a few months ago. Buy one of those foldable wagons. I mean, maybe, but... Where did I walk to? Uh, grocery store, Michaela. Just down to the grocery store. It's about, a, it's about 15, 15, 20 minutes uh, both ways. 15, 20 minutes each way. Did I rent? Yeah. Uh, melatonin gummy candies. Mm. Yeah. yeah, next time I talk to my mom, I'll let her know that I hit 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. Where he's offering to pay my rent. See, you rocking on a Segway. Said for my future. Uh, I don't know. Miss uh, Holly, I mean, it's like by necessity. Like any changes uh, I've gone through have been like by necessity. It's where I would never walk it again, and I and I wish I'd stood by, stuck, stuck by that. Sweet, sweet, sweaty peaches. Welcome to my memberships. Uh, all right. Still looking for a job? <sighs> hey, zombie queen. Hey, Liberace. Um, I should. I know. I mean, I know. I still know I should. Bicycle? Nah. Feed kitty? The, the cats were fed not long ago. Um, all right. I should have looked up the recipe. I should have looked up how you how you make meatloaf. So I'm assuming that right now what I do is I break the uh, break the egg and put the uh, egg in and mix it all together. Right? That'd be the step I would do here. As stress of being put in public. Yeah, I'm just with you. Great onion. Oh, I chopped up the onion. What are we adding to the meat? Um. So yeah, break the egg and put it in. Right. Season the beef. Oh, good point. Uh, meatloaf seasoning. 
Oh, wait. So what would be the order doing it? Would I season the meat first? Or would I do the egg first? Nah, the meat's still cold. Seasoning first? Ketchup or tomato? Uh, I'll put some ketchup on top of that. Feels like a lot of... Wait. Oh shit, it's got the uh, combined eggs. Uh, it says milk, but I'm not putting milk in there. Oh, apparently I'm supposed to, apparently I'm supposed to add us, what this one says is, uh, mix everything and then add the beef. This actually says to add the beef after mixing all the other ingredients. Oops. Too late to change now. Sam, what are you crying for, Sam? It's poison now. Yep. What are you crying for, Sam? All right. I have never broken an egg before. I've literally never broken an egg before. So. I think I actually didn't do too bad there. And just one egg, right? Don't put the I know. Just the one egg, just one egg, right? Wash hands? Yeah. That's the best part. Couple, one egg. Because the thing is, I don't actually like eggs. Like, I don't like eggs. Jordan, I'm feeling better today. Honestly, yesterday, I probably could have gone live at some point last night, but I was like, yeah, fuck it, I'll take it. I'll just take the whole day off. Uh, I don't think I, yeah, I don't think I got any. Uh, mix the fingers, yeah. Would be about the right amount of, uh... I think, is that enough, uh, breadcrumbs or more breadcrumbs? I have no idea how much breadcrumb I put in. A cup? That's enough? So fancy, yeah. The onion. Half cup. Ziploc bag over my hand to Not a bad idea, actually, because it's gross. Uh, where are my Ziploc baggies? Do I not have Ziploc baggies? I could have sworn I had Ziploc baggies. Because that was a good idea. Um, I 
onion chopped too big? Yeah, pro probably. Gotta have, gotta have a baggie somewhere. Gotta have a baggie somewhere, right? But uh, I don't have bread. Apparently I don't have Ziploc baggies. On top of fridge? No. Could have sworn I did have some uh, Ziploc bags. All right. Spoon or fork? Sorry, kitties. Bag for somebody was suggesting uh, mixing, like put my hand in a bag and just to cover my hand, just because it's gross. Certain textures do like I am sort of grossed out by textures. Um, not really sure how, I'll try, no. I know I should be using my hand, but Worcester sauce, oh, I didn't add the Worcester sauce yet, no. Thanks for the reminder. Let me get the Worcester out. Worcester. Use my hand. Dice the onions. Yeah, I sort of. I was thinking I probably should have uh, diced them smaller, but. Whatever. Too late now. It's all too late now. Can sort of still break the onions up a little bit. Big chunks of onion. I like big chunks of onion. I probably only should have used half an onion, actually. Realistically, like, come to think of it, I probably should have only used, like, half the onion. Yeah, these are some big chunks of onion to go in a meatloaf, you're right. Oh, well. Yay, drum garlic. Takes my ah, fuck it. Garlic powder is actually a good idea. Where did I put the garlic powder? There, I put the garlic powder. Just a small bit of garlic powder, though. I don't want. Hey, turkey leg. That's probably more than I uh, want to put another egg wouldn't hurt. With the amount of beef I've got in here, I wonder if maybe another egg would work. I think you might need one more egg. You might be right with uh, the amount of beef and onion. Yeah, it's... Uh, Another egg. All right.
I'll also need to decide what to do with the uh, potato. Ah. Okay, that one didn't break nearly as nicely. Still pretty, still pretty sure I didn't get any egg, uh... Like, I'm pretty sure I still didn't get any of the, uh... Any of the what's it? Um... Ketchup and mustard is a must. Mustard? No. Ketchup? Probably. Shell. I'm pretty sure I still didn't get any of the shell in the, uh in the loaf though. So at least I've still gotten that right, but yeah. Yeah, that egg did not break nearly as, uh, I did not do nearly as good a job breaking that one. Glazing me? Uh, yeah, so I'll probably just uh, glaze it with the uh, ketchup. This is so gross. At least I find that sort of thing so gross. Mix it with your hands? Ah, uh, I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can use my hands to mix this shit. Like, it's just... It's gross. The texture. It's the texture would gross me out, I think. Uh, old? No, I mean, I just got it a couple days ago. Oh, I'm hiding under the cover, so cold here. I have to get into a ball. Salt, pepper, and some ketchup. Salt, yes, that's true. Uh, Bally, exactly. It's certain textures, it's just like, ew, gross. Uh, I haven't heated the oven yet. The oven heats up really fast, so I'm not really worried um, about how long that'll take. It'll take like two minutes for it to heat. Maybe a little bit more, but like it'll only take a couple minutes. It'll only take a few minutes to eat. Throw a lot of salt in that packet. Probably did actually. I probably I probably have over salted it now. Whatever. All right, fine. Um, what uh, what temperature would the oven go at? In the 18th century, wealthy British landowners hired ornamental hermits to live in their gardens. I heard I heard about that, Lord Baroque. 350, 420. 350. Most people seem to be saying 350. Well, either 350 or 375. <laughs> The internet can't agree either. Right. Mixed in the salt and the pepper. Bye, Miss Holly. <laughs> it's 
scooping it. Just scooping it in here. Because it's not, because it's less gross. No, no. Um, I don't know how to cook. I really don't. Um, this is me just absolutely learning from scratch. Uh, purple glitter, welcome! Again, there with the hand. No, it's gross. It's a gross texture. Perfect saves complete. Yep. There. Perfect. And give me a second, I'm just gonna. And put this in the sink with some hot water. Wait for the water to get hot, because it takes forever for the water to get hot in this place. Oh, it's nice and clean, Bessie. I did shower today. <whistles> that beep. That's the oven already heated. It really takes very little time for the oven to heat. I see some cleaning as they go. Yeah, I tried to. All right. Uh, how much your memberships? Uh, Vicky, memberships are buck ninety nine. Three hundred seventy five for sixty minutes. Right, I'll go with three seventy five. Bear in mind, actually, these are small. Like, it's two small ones. Rather than one big one. Wouldn't that, would that affect the cooking time? You mean the apron? Yes, I washed my hair. Ketchup and brown sugar on top. Do I do that now, or do that... Or would I put the uh, ketchup and brown sugar in a bit? 375 for 45? Bali chicken, welcome. Because the, uh, like, when I was very, very quickly looking, it seemed to indicate that you put the sauce on after. Put it on top now. Goot, welcome. Uh, shit. Do I have brown sugar? Shit, I actually don't remember if I had brown sugar. Um, uh, thought I might have. Uh, topping last 10 minutes. Do the ketchup and brown sugar after it cooks for a while. Okay. Ketchup now. I'll let it cook for like half an hour. Making sheet under the... Eh. I suppose I could. For a bit, then add. But now, don't do brown sugar, just do ketchup. Not to have very good Honey and lemon, no brown sugar, no gourmet. Ah. Don't slide around, you stupid paper.
All right, y'all know to the brown sugar. Come to think of it, I don't know if I actually have brown sugar. It's called a cooking sheet, not cookie sheet. I'm gonna keep calling it a cookie sheet or baking sheet, I think I've heard it as well. Ketchup already has sugar in it, don't add more sugar, okay? There are these things you can find online that tells you how to make stuff, stuff like that. Though. I know, Heather, I meant, I honestly, I meant to look up a recipe earlier and I just completely fucking forgot. And then it's hard to look up a recipe while on live. Six forty-three. So, so around quarter after seven, I'll take them out. And uh, no, my mom. No, my mom. I never. I was never interested in learning. Brown sugar matters. Toss in a potato. So yeah, I was trying to decide what to do with the, with, with the potatoes. The traditional thing I think would be like some mashed potatoes. Did I pick up butter? Yes, I did order butter. Um, so yeah, mashed potatoes would be the traditional thing. I'm kind of lazy. Hey, Jessica. So what I'm honestly thinking is just tossing it in the oven. It's just tossing it in the microwave. Just toss one in the microwave for four, for four or five minutes. Boom, done. Harry Jess, not really. Like on baked potato, exactly, Lady DMA. Micro, I mean, it's a microwave potato. <laughs> it's a like it's just baked potato in the microwave. Like that's what it is. Just toss it in the oven or oven now. Nah. Like I said, four or five minutes in the microwave. Yes, I, I know that turkey. I have microwave potatoes. I have microwave potatoes uh, before. Are they great? Eh, they're potatoes. I am very lazy. So four or five minutes in the microwave. I know, but I know poke it with a uh, fork. I know that. I have done, I have actually done uh, potatoes in the microwave before. Put some holes, exactly, yeah. Cut it open, put some butter on it, mash the butter in. Done. I knock things over. Eh, only one thing. Knocked over a uh, roll of paper towel. Uh, I microwave potatoes, then smash them with butter and cheese and other stuff and bake that bad boy. Not lazy in my Anora Dijabruja. No, I'm lazy. <laughs> in this case, it is pure, simple laziness. Microwave probably has a setting for baked potatoes, probably. Probably, but I mean, I like five potato, five minutes tops. Maybe like four and a half minutes, like four and a half minutes on. Uh, I feel like four and a half minutes on high would probably be perfect. Last time I did it. A couple weeks ago, I put it uh, five minutes on high, and that seemed like just a little bit too long. Put goes some potato. Depression? Oh, it's not the depression either. It's laziness. Ermagerd! It's good to see you happy. Thank you, Ermagerd. No cat from the cancer. Sam! Sam! You're a nuisance, Sam! Feeling better? Yeah. Mm, no. Can look better if you use the oven? Yeah, but they take longer. Yeah. I know to poke holes in them. Uh, I know you'll. 
Glad you make them feel loved. I try. Is that box still in the counter? Yes. Sam have his antidepressant today? I gave them treats. I did give them some treats. Not long ago. Not long before I came live. Casey came up and was whining her ass off. Yeah, Casey gave up. Uh, Casey was in my room whining, so I gave them. Uh, I gave them treats. Uh, I haven't brushed them in a few days. Been a. It's actually has been a couple days since I brushed them. A few days since I brushed them. But I'd given them some. Like I'd given them a, a really thorough brushing uh, before that. So. Uh, Stacy Sparkles Rainbow Hearts, thank you very much. The cats love you and need you, thank you. Play a tune, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't seem like he's interested in, uh, in playing right now. Doesn't seem like he's interested in, uh, in strumming. Sent Chantel, a, a couple days ago, I sent Chantel a video of Sam strumming. Chat very fast, yeah. That's what happens when there's 350 people. Good boy. Uh, Taylor? No, uh, no, it's not. I think I've had uh, almost a thousand people uh, at one point. Or have I? I've had a few hundred at least. Think you've lost weight? I doubt it, golden girl. I mean, I can check again. Give me a second. I'll check my weight. We'll see if I have to replace the battery again. But I'm guessing I'm probably still a couple hundred. Body weight is 200.4 pounds. Body weight is 200.4 pounds. Yeah, I've been... I've been in that general area for a while. You know, within a few, like, within a few pounds. Like, I've been within, like, 195 to 210. Like, I've been in, like, the 190 to 210 in that general range forever. Because my weight? I don't, honestly. Going to cook for my mom? We'll see. No way you're too close. Not 224, like anywhere from like anywhere 200.4. It was 200.4. Uh, 200 pounds. So I'm 200 pounds. Need a new scale? Nah, I think that one does work. Yeah, I'm basically about 200 pounds. Uh, box net. Nah, I haven't uh, done anything more for box net then. I suppose I could do a few more boxes here. We got, we got time. Already. So yeah, some of these boxes are uh, some of these boxes are mine. <laughs> I have contributed a little bit to box mapping. Because you know Chantel's never ordered from Barnes and Noble. hasn't said or like she hasn't told her audience so I am not comfortable saying. like I'm not comfortable saying if she hasn't is basically what it comes down to uh, 
Um, so, uh, Fresh. Uh, we never cut these uh, those water bags open. I'll need to cut those open and drain them. I think this is like two boxes that are stuck together. All right. Uh, must I hang out with her? me? Thanks, Bally. Five foot six. I'm five foot seven and like three quarters. I'm just shy of five foot eight. Some gray sweatpants and do jumping jacks? No. I don't have gray sweatpants. And I don't exercise. Box has gotten waterlogged. It's there's almost nothing left of it. Someone gave me ten dollars. What? Sam Q, make a dessert on the next live. Uh, I don't know that I'm ready for dessert. I'm, I'm not really much of a dessert person, honestly. Like, honestly, uh, I'm not much of a dessert person. Thank you very much for the super chat. Uh, I'm not really much of a dessert person, to be honest. Come on, just gotta get you able to. Flat enough. <sighs> Sorry, just tossing the remaining boxes that may need to be flattened over here. We'll be back in a second. Uh, One second. I'll need to, I'll need to sweep the, uh, that area. Making better? Yeah, I'm feeling better. Really, last night I had just gotten overtired. I had just gotten overtired yesterday. Uh, hey, plain cheeseburger. Yeah, a fair bit of like, cat litter that's like come out of the box that I just need to sweep up. Sweep and mop. Yeah, I'll need to mop as well, actually. Which I've literally never done. I've never mopped a uh, floor in my life. Not 
he's doing the cleaning. Uh, here's the thing, Bally. I've been unemployed for a year. Chantal's been paying 95% of the bills over the past year. I've been contributing almost nothing. The truth is, I should have been doing this all along. Like, with how little I've actually financially contributed over the past year, I should have been doing this all along. So, do I feel bad about doing this? No. No, this is something that I am long overdue to actually do fucking something to help out around the house. Like, I know everybody wants to hate on Chantel. She has been more than patient with me. She honestly has. Like, Chantel has been way more patient than I... than she should have been. She should have been riding my ass uh, a lot over this past year if she hasn't. So... Like, that's honestly another reason why I get, why I honestly get annoyed at people shit-talking her. Um, and, like, saying that she's, like, a bad friend to me. Like, no. <laughs> like, I don't even know what sort of situation I would be in right now if it wasn't for her. You know? Fucking no job and... Shania, welcome. That's all this shit I'm doing right now, like I said, it is so long overdue. It's stuff that I should have been doing. not happier. Um, I'm arguably getting a little bit more productive living on my own because I have no choice. Um, because I don't have... But... Was that the excess one? No, this is Fab Fit Fun. So I don't know what would have been in here, but something fab and fit and fun. Clothes, I assume. Just trying to flatten the, uh, flatten this uh, pile a little bit. I'll need to bring it out in chunks. Uh, you're killing me, Smalls. Welcome. Leslie Sky from Michigan, loving the T-shirt. Can you guess? Uh, yeah, it's a uh, Dazzler. Uh, Dazzler is a comic book character. Uh, her whole concept is uh, she's one of the X-Men. But her whole concept is that rather than being a superhero, she wants to be a singer. Uh, so she uh, had a solo series all about her trying to find a music career. And uh, she released an album called Sound of Light and Fury. And she did do a tour. So 1983 World Tour, because that's when uh, 
the comic was. Yeah, I haven't checked. I haven't checked where my members are today. I haven't checked uh, how many members I have. Uh, and this is the last box over here. Uh, do still have some big boxes over behind the couch. So this finishes up what most people think of as Box Mountain. Preempted by NASA. Ah, fair enough. Fair enough. I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not going to complain about uh, being beaten by NASA. Science is awesome. Give me one more moment here. Uh, I do need to uh, scoop the litter box. I apparently forgot to do it last night, so it's uh... all oh, right. Because I wasn't feeling great. I forgot to clean the litter. I forgot to scoop the litter box last night. Um, so I just need to do it really quick uh, here. And I keep forgetting that there's no uh, hand soap uh, in here. One more minute while I uh, wash my hands with hand soap. There we go. Get the litter flushable. Uh, the litter itself is not flushable. Uh, what's flushable? It's the uh, the litter we've been using. It's the pretty litter, which is uh, non clumping, uh, which means that the uh, poop doesn't or that the litter doesn't really uh, stick to the poop. So it's easy to flush the poop down the toilet. My memberships. Do I like that letter? Uh, I do. Um, we're probably going to, we're probably not going to be getting it anymore. Uh, I think Chantel canceled the subscription to it. Um, so I think we're switching back to the uh, regular letter. Ooh, yeah, over 400 viewers. Nice. Is there to go on a date? Nah. By the way, my arm is, uh, my arm, I think, is uh, healing pretty well. Where is it? Yeah, my arm is uh, is healing. It's, uh, most of it's, 
like honestly it's most of it is just a matter of the skin uh just cleaning up so plain cheeseburger yeah if you come to ottawa plain cheeseburger you can look at my memberships all right give me a minute uh I will check my memberships. Give me one minute here. So that uh, it was telling me, uh, it was telling me 177 members, which pretty great. Delaware Pearl, hi, congratulations! You seem happy. Keep your spirits up. You have a lot of folks to care about you. Thank you very much, Delaware. It's a lot. It is kind of a lot. everything in the bowl and mix up my washed hands yeah it's i like i think partly because of my like i think it might be a little bit related to my autism that i have trouble like with like uh with uh certain textures it's just like i have trouble getting over that okay welcome Oh, Zompy get oh Zompy gifted a bunch. Well, thank you, Zompy. Sorry, I missed uh, I missed it. I must have I must have been when I was washing my hands or something. Thank you very much, Zompy. Thank you so so much for the. Uh... Actually, give me a second here just to scroll back up. Boop, 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 boop. Well, I look, you can look at case. While I look uh, for Zompy's gift sub thing. Oh, hey, Tay, huh? <laughs> I'm missing, uh, I missed a bunch of people coming in. Where is it? Didn't, does it not sing? Does it not say in my chat to people? Huh. Sorry, I wanted to uh I wanted to scroll up to see Zompy's gift subs. Um it it didn't say. <laughs> Apparently it just didn't show uh in my chat that it, that she did it. Weird. That's super weird. But uh regardless, thank you so 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 much, Zompy. A bumpkin? I don't think so. Yeah, it's not in the version of, like, apparently when I view it on my phone, like when I uh, have chat going on my phone, um, and nope, I don't know how to put it on slow mode. I don't know how to put chat on slow mode. Yeah, for some reason it doesn't actually like whenever somebody does a uh, whenever somebody gifts memberships, it doesn't appear. It doesn't seem to show in here uh, on the chat on my phone. Weird. But thank you very, 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 very much. Thank you so, so much, and uh, congratulations to the people who are getting the uh, gift memberships. Playing cheeseburger once a day. She has to come up here. Where am I at in the spectrum? I mean, high functioning, I'd assume. But. Gifted 10? Yeah, it's weird. I don't, that's so weird. It doesn't actually say.
Yeah, I super appreciate that, uh, Zombie. Yeah, I don't know where to... Uh... Don't know where to go to change the... Are my feet cold? No. No, my feet aren't cold. I wear socks. I wear socks all the time. Can't afford membership. Oh, that's fine, Leslie Sky. Uh, that's totally, totally okay. <laughs> Heinz ketchup. Do I still cut to, uh, Chantel's toenails? Well, no. She's not in the country right now. Get in there and get my hands dirty. No! Setting up a Christmas tree? I have no intention of setting up a Christmas tree. How much is a membership? It's a buck ninety-nine. So. Are you always socks autistic or never socks autistic? I am an always socks autistic. Yeah, I am an always socks autistic. No Christmas? Nah. Nah, I don't plan on doing anything for Christmas. When is she coming home? Not sure yet. Do I still put on Chantel socks? Again, she's not in the country, so no. Do I wear shoes in the house? I do not wear shoes in the house. That I don't get. Um, I, the, uh... Meatloaves. Have to put up a Christmas tree. Ow. Okay, somebody mentioned draining, and I think they might be right. Uh, give me a second here. Uh. Yeah, I think draining might be necessary. I can't get a good grip on them with this thing. Like they're too hot to lift. There we go. I did get. No, that's not gonna work. Why is there? Pour some liquid. That's what I'm trying to do. This. I tell them just. Shy of 5'8". Ah, crap. It was out long enough that it started to congeal. God. It's so fucking hot. The tins are so goddamn hot. Uh, Demelza, you're a top bloke. All the best from UK. Thank you. Uh, gonna try this 12 egg meatloaf. Yeah, fuck 
it, whatever. Whatever, it's fine. I don't give a shit. If it turns out bad, I'll just fucking order something. If the meatloaf turns out bad, then I'll just order something for supper. Whatever. Anyways, uh, check temperature. Temperature is still three fifty. Love beef and potatoes. Yeah. No way to join an iPhone. There should be Marielle, but don't worry about it. Don't worry too much about it. So I've been watching uh, on a totally different subject. Uh, I've started watching uh, Bee and Puppycat on Netflix. Um, anyone else here watch that? Mm. The original is so much better. Probably. The original apparently had Marina Sirtis. 375. Fine, I'll bump it up to 375. Only take a couple minutes to get already there. So fast to get there. Like that oven heats up so fast. It's cool. Think about a PO box soon. So yeah. Uh, yeah. So has anyone else watched uh, Bee and Puppy Cat? CL? I've never read the comic. Uh, I want to. So uh, the show is based on a comic by uh, Natasha Allegri. Uh, they use a Vocaloid for Puppy Cat's voice. That, I mean, that makes sense, Chibi. I mean, considering considering what a weird voice it is, I would think they'd have to. Uh, Kath, I got all the money. Boop the suit. No, is it good? It's really good. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, the comic that it's based on is one of those, like, you know, Really popular, critically acclaimed. Uh, I'm watching Wednesday. Nah, I'm not gonna. I'm probably not gonna watch Wednesday. Um, and uh, they made B skinnier in the new version. She's still a little bit on the uh, thick side. She's still a little bit thick though. Potatoes in the oven. I'm just microwaving the potato. And. Uh, so yeah, it's a really cute show, really funny, uh, very strange, like super weird show, but uh, really funny. Hey, Enchanted Roses. Once I finish watching it, I'll uh, post a uh, video reviewing it. Here, I'm cooking it in the, in the microwave, yeah. Need a boop? No, I don't boop, I don't do boops. Almost 400 watching. Yep. Is your right thigh or calf more hairy? Uh, thigh, I think, is hairier. Hey, Nashi Queen. Mine's a Steven Universe. I do really want to read the comic, though. Like, I do want to read the, uh, the comic, the Bee and Puppy Cat comic. Because I heard such good stuff about that. Hairy chest, not particularly. I've got some hairs, but I don't have a lot of hair. Somebody's whining. Love being puppy cat. Yes, I do need to vacuum. And yes, there are a couple more boxes up here. <laughs> yep. 
Yes, there are a few more boxes up here. I'll get them. Book 59 of the year, hoping to get to 65. Cool. I, so to start a couple of years ago, or a few years ago, this is like years and years ago, I actually did, uh, oh, hi, Casey. Follow me down. Okay. Um, what was it? So, yeah. Uh, I used to do, like, Goodreads Challenge. Like, I tried to, re like, I wanted to do, like, 52. Or I wanted to do, like, yeah, I think I wanted to do, like, 50 books in a year. And I think I was able to do that. But, uh, like, for one year. And then the next year, I was like, no, nah, I don't even care enough anymore. See less boxes at the box factory. All right, Casey. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, thank you, Jenna. Thank you for anybody who does uh, who does give gifts uh, memberships. I am not seeing them showing up. The uh, my chat is just for some reason not showing them. Buns or pals in Ottawa. Uh, not that I'm aware of Salamander. Sort of get through one book a month. Sometimes, yeah, for sometimes me as well. Kind of depends a little bit on the books that I'm reading. But yeah, I do have trouble reading these days. The box and trash outside. Because it does still mean taking them out. Still effort. Do I read horror? No, I'm not into horror. I'm just not, a, I've just never been a fan of horror. I only read like one Goosebumps book as a kid, and honestly, I found it cheesy. Yeah, it's just not my, not my thing. My favorite genre, probably fantasy. Uh, my like it's probably fantasy. My books on tape. No, I can't do audiobooks. I don't have the right. I'm not an auditory, uh, like an audio, auditory person. I am much more visual than auditory. Yeah, come on. That last author you read does horror. Uh, Sylvia Morena Garcia. The one I read, though, was fantasy. Can I ask if you have music that you listen to all the time? Same music you like for 30 years? Um, I mean, yeah, sometimes. I mean, there are songs that I do sing along to, for sure. There's not a lot of music. There's not a lot of songs that I've liked for 30 years. Um, not a lot of stuff that I listen to now. Or not a lot of stuff that I listen to at, like, 10 years old that I still like now. Uh, thanks, Sapphire. POC fantasy. That's sort of what I've been uh, going for, Josie. Yeah, for sing for you? No, I'm not singing. Yeah, in terms of uh, music that I liked as a kid that I still really like, um, 5440, uh, Collective Soul, actually. I had Collective Soul on tape, and I still like uh, quite a few of the songs from the tape I had. Um, it was the album that had, like, Gel and uh, The World I Know in December. Uh, did I read the Choose Your Own Adventure books? I think I read one of the, uh, one Choose Your Own Adventure book. Um, I think there's a few, um, timer? Nah, I'm not bothering with the timer. Arctic Monkeys. A couple of Arctic Monkey songs, but I'm not really into Arctic Monkeys. Uh, first tape was Hootie and the Blowfish. I was really into Metallica as a kid. I don't really like them much anymore. I uh, love that Collective Soul CD. I had the cassette. Playing games on Twitch? Nah.
Dark Throne. I'm not really into, uh, I'm guessing that one's metal. I'm not really into metal. Uh, Arctic Monkeys is not for you, but I learned to listen to them a bit when I was in a party mood. I was going for the meatloaf. Uh, it's coming up on 45 minutes. Just love Metallica, Black Album. Fine, Jerry. I'll be honest. Load and Reload, good albums. Like, legitimately, I would rank Load and Reload as being arguably as good as most of their uh, earlier, as most of their other early stuff. Again, it's not some stuff that I listen to anymore, but those albums were a growth. First tape was New Kids on the Block. I'm not sure what my first, uh, I don't remember what my first tape would have been. Like, earlier? Yeah, I mean, like, I, I mean, I grew up on Black Album, Ride the Lightning, Master of Puppets. You know, those, and I mean, even, uh, and Justice for All. Billy Talent, never liked Billy Talent. So, like, I grew up on Metallica's first five albums. Um... But I do maintain that Load and Reload were good albums. Saint Anger was shit. And uh, Guns N' Roses. Yeah, loved Guns N' Roses. Still, like, I still enjoy Guns N' Roses. Uh, I still enjoy a lot of Guns N' Roses songs. Um, my appreciation for them has held up so much better than my appreciation for Metallica. Favorite Christmas song? I don't know. Maybe Fairy Tales of... Uh, well, actually, favorite Christmas song? Anything by the Muppets. Yeah. Muppets are the only good Christmas music. Beyond that, Fairy Tales of New York is good. Um, specifically, I specifically enjoy, uh, the Stars version of Fairy Tale. The Pixies version, I'm not as much into. Um, like, it's just not, I'm not big on the, in the, on the Pixies in general. But Stars did an amazing cover of uh, Fairy Tale of New York. Estranged. Not sure it's uh, Guns N' Roses' best song. But it is a good one. Uh, no, I was not really, really religious. My obsession with Muppets. They're just fun. The Muppets are just fun, Rick. Like, how do you, like, how can anyone not like the Muppets? Yeah, I do like Estranged. I still, like, I remember the music video having Slash Playing the guitar while riding dolphins. Or while standing on dolphins. Uh, must be Santa. No. November Rain is the best song. Again, I don't know about that. I don't know what their best song is. Playing some big stars in the Muppet Show. Yeah. Because everybody loved them. The Muppets were just... The Muppets are just fun. Favorite Muppet? Um... Man, I don't even know who my favorite would be. They're scary. Swedish Chef. Swedish Chef is great. Uh, always love, uh, love love Nirvana. Hate the Cranberries. Kind of the same here. I like, cannot you know, like Pixies. They just don't do it for me. They just, I just they don't they don't appeal to me. Cookie Monster. Cookie Monster is amazing. I still follow. I follow Cookie Monster on Twitter. No doubt. I was never big on No Doubt. Grumpy old man. Yep, Walder, uh, Statler and Waldorf. Yep, love Statler and Wardorf. Waldorf. I also follow them on Twitter. Just a second. Well, if in this ain't going to be the smallest baked potato ever. Got you under my skin.
Uh, you follow Make Believe characters on Twitter. They're real to me. Watch Joker. Pass. Janice. I do like Janice. And I mean that whole band, really. Whoops. That onion fell on the floor. Multiple meals at once. Seems it pretty much what I did this time. Uh, who was the giant ogre muppet? Uh, a Yeti ate my sandwich. Welcome. Removed our homophobic and racist lyrics in 2018. Well, that's good. Um, do I do I have a meat thermometer? I do have a meat thermometer. Crush on Kermit? I don't have a crush on Kermit. I have a meat thermometer, it has no batteries. Oh, that battery's just there. Looks like it's done. Looks like it's dead. Got a meat thermometer, but it's not working. Not turning on. Well, that's disappointing. Miss Piggy. Love Miss Piggy. Full of laundry. I don't even bother taking it out. Like, uh, never been diagnosed autistic. Uh, I just have a very high, I have a suspicion. I just think that I'm very high likelihood of being autistic. Uh, celebrity crushes. Um, what do you think? Does that look done? Hey, Charlotte. Sometimes. Uh, Edge. I'm still going by uh, he him for now. But better. No, it's a like a lithium battery. So it's that's not a battery that I have replacement for. Looks raw. Done. Let's cook. Let's catch up. What I'm eating? Meatloaf. I don't have a basement. Yeah, seems okay.
Good. Yeah, it tastes like meatloaf. Could be better. It's not terrible. Not awful. It is, once again, edible. Yes. I'm putting it on a plate. I'm not putting it on a plate, crib. Get some butter for my potato. Can I drink pee pee now? No. Nah. Just heating up my uh, knife on top of the potato, make it easier to cut the butter. Okay, that's more butter than I needed. That's flavor. Uh, flavor uh, of the uh, meatloaf is okay. Not that better. Never too much butter. Bear. Now I'm going up to my room to eat because I prefer, I know I can eat at the counter, but I don't know. I prefer eating at my computer. I'm more comfortable that way. Turn the oven off? Yes, I did turn the oven off. Guess lower up the stairs. Sorry. Have I ever been camping? Unfortunately, yes. It was not an experience that I enjoyed. The fupa boil or her fart. The worst was uh, after she'd had a uh, necessary surgery and I had to blow dry her roll. Just checking how many members uh, I'm up to here. Holy shit. I'm up to 273 members. Sweet. Fuck me. Same shirt you wear on. It is. Because I was... Uh, I had to represent my geek side at Pride, you know? I'm trans, but I'm also a comic geek. So yeah, uh, when I went to Pride, yeah, I, this is the shirt I wore to Pride. Geek represent. Princess Mononoke poster. Uh, yes, I do have one. There's my Princess Mononoke poster right there. 
I forget who did the art. I can like I need to look that up and Rusty Starfish, welcome. Banyo's one. Banyo didn't do anything for me. Like, I hate to say it, but Banyo just did not work for me at all. Just like the other meatloaf. Uh, I mean, the cats won't eat it. I'll be putting it in the fridge. Like, I'll be putting that in the fridge. I'm letting it cool off, Heather. And then I'll put it in the fridge. Funny. No, I didn't. I didn't enjoy Ponyo. I hate to say it, but yeah, I just did not enjoy Ponyo covered. Oh yeah, I mean, I'll put, I'll put some Saran wrap. Uh, what, top, what computer do I have? Uh, an HP Spirited Away. Love Spirited Away. Spirited Away is my favorite movie. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special? No, I did not watch it. And I will not watch it. Death Note. Never watched Death Note, actually. Wish we could do a Spirited Away watch party. Sorry, VP. Live action spirited away? No. No. That said, I wouldn't mind watching the spirited away uh, stage production. There is a uh, stage production of uh, spirited away. I would actually really like to watch that. No, Edge. Uh, somebody was asking about if I would like a live action spirited away. Uh, Samurai Shampoo. I have seen Samurai, Samurai Shampoo. Really liked it. Grave of the Fireflies? I have watched Grave of the Fireflies. I watched the English dub, which was a mistake. MG? Right now I'm filming on my uh, phone. Usually I film on my computer. But when I'm cooking, because I can't bring my computer downstairs, I mean, I could, but meh. It's a pain. <laughs> oh, uh, good night, Chibi. Bet the live music in a spirit of way stage play would be amazing, probably. I don't know. I would just. That just seems like it'd be an amazing experience. Right, the next time, yeah. Or I'll even just chop them up into smaller bits. Or like only use half an onion. Beauty bite. I did a beauty bite downstairs. Hello? Yeah, I don't know that I'd enjoy it. Attack of Titans. I've never, I've watched one episode of Attack of Titans. Remember the Titans? No. Did I like it? Nope. That's why I only watched one episode. Would sob if I saw live action Spirit Away. I already saw watching the movie. Fair.
I use too much butter. <laughs> I definitely put too much butter on my potatoes, on my potato. Uh, plain cheeseburger, thank you for the gift memberships. Am I going to continue to cook lunch until it gets home? I will try. I should actually, I think I might have actually undercooked the potato. I think I might have undercooked the potato. Oh, well. No big deal. Yeah. Definitely undercooked it. Make this look bad for longer. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, I know what I did wrong. I know what I did wrong. You're supposed to, like, cook it, turn it, cook it again. Plus, I definitely put too much, uh, there's a potato on my plate. Plus, I definitely put too much butter. Ah, it's too late for that. My best friend looking like no face. No. Can I beat Superman? No. Oh, could Goku beat Superman? I don't know. Don't know, don't care. I will say, I do feel like who would win in a fight is one of the least interesting questions to ask regarding comic book characters. Because, like, the answer is, depends on what this, depends on what the writer needs. It depends on how, on what the story needs to be. Hey, Julie. Who would win between Goku and Superman? Well, that depends. Who's the protagonist? And uh, why are they fighting? And what's the storyline? Yeah, first time I make me love. Hey, cheeseburgers. Shark or a polar bear? No idea, attendees. Do I love it? Um, it was okay. It was strictly okay. Of course, Amy. I mean, I gotta take care of them. Hey, Ellie. My 
friend would always say that her own characters would whoop all the other characters and drive me crazy because she never gave them any faults or weaknesses. I mean, that's, I mean, that's amateur writing. Like, that is how you learn to write, uh, MG. Like, people make fun of Mary Sue characters all the time. But, I mean, it's how you learn to write. You know, you're not going to get good at writing unless you start out shitty. So, like, yeah. Make your shitty wish fulfillment character. It's just fucking right, my immortal. Go ahead. Absolutely. You know? If you're going to become a good writer, you're going to start with my immortal, right? Just start watching the Mass Effect playthrough. So far, so good. Thanks, fine, Jerry. Uh, I tried to make it interesting. I know. I've never read my immortal, but yeah, I'm on, I'm on the internet. Uh, of course, I know about my immortal. Uh, give me a second. Gotta blow my nose. So yeah, like, I know about My Immortal. I know that, like, and here's the thing. My Immortal is, like, notorious as one of the worst fanfics ever written. But so what? <laughs> At least she wrote it. Best of all time? Yeah, I mean... Some people debate if my immortal is like a really thought out troll fic or if it's genuine. No one can tell. Which is which makes it great, honestly. Ebony, Darkness, Dementia, Raven Way. Yep. Grill? No, I would not get a grill in my teeth. Which snack gum? Peach rings. That's in Guantanamo Bay. I'm against it. I don't really celebrate Christmas smells. So yeah. Um... You know, write shitty fanfics. Shitty fanfics are great. They're a crucial part of learning how to write. 
you start off writing absolute garbage and then you get better. Kit Kats? No, I haven't had Kit Kats in a couple of years. I'm a dazzler today. Anunnaki? Uh, no, I did not watch the world. I didn't watch any of the World Cup. What do I give a shit? Uh, Canada lost the World Cup. Yeah. That's about what I expected. I still cringe at my We Bear Bears fanfic I wrote when I was like 16. Don't cringe at it, Edge. You were trying. Yeah, you were trying. Have I ever freeballed in front of a fan in summer? No. That's what you gotta do. You gotta you gotta try. Draco invites Ebony to a good Charlotte concert in Hogsmeade. This is amazing. Definitely read a lot of Naruto fan bit fic back in the day. <clears throat> Truthfully, I'm not actually a big fan of uh, fanfic. I don't really read any. I've never really been into reading fanfic. Movie trivia game? Another. Tomorrow, maybe. I still got uh, another meatloaf. Do I need to make me cry? Not normally me. I still got another meatloaf, so I'll uh, probably have that tomorrow, and maybe tomorrow I can do uh, do trivia. Crossover fanfics? Sure, why not? Still read fanfic, but I'm a lot pickier. Voldemort has a gun. That's how you win battles. Middle school, it was my primary source of entertainment. Yeah, I just, I've, I've never really been into it. Uh, what are my thoughts on the remake or reboot of Sailor Moon? I haven't watched it. Um, I've seen screen caps, and the art looks like it's really good. It looks like it's really good art style, but I haven't watched it yet. I do want to watch it. Yes, I finished the meatloaf. <laughs> Porn trivia? I don't think so, cheeseburger. Uh, it's been long enough since I've watched South Park, I don't remember what the principal even sounds like. Might do trivia tomorrow. Love Jeopardy. It's been so long since I've watched Jeopardy. Uh, I think it's wild how there have been several blockbuster movies that came from fan fiction like Fifty Shades of Grey. Yeah. I mean, there was a TV show based on a shitty Twitter. There was a shitty TV show based on a silly Twitter account. Movies have been made from throwaway tweets. Am I good at world ge uh, guess geography? No, not very good at geography line. <laughs> May maybe so far. Yeah, at least I'll at least tell Jennifer to give everybody else a chance to answer. Hey, Penelope. <clears throat> My love language. Talking about talking about comic books, probably. I think, I think my love language is uh, discussing X Men uh, minutia. That's my love language. Kind of music, uh, indie. I really like uh, indie rock. Heartless Bastards. Ting Kings. Daughter. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, thank you very much uh, for
Fork Snippers. Thank you very much, Fork Snippers, for the uh, bunch of gift memberships. I, I missed Lambo. It's because they're not showing up. They're not showing up for my uh, in my version of the chat. Because I'm on my phone. Like, because I'm on my phone right now. And for some reason, apparently, gifts, gift memberships just don't fucking show up uh, on my chat on my phone. Uh, favorite classic TV shows. Um, I did watch Mad About You back in the day. Um, certainly not one of my favorites. Uh, I mean, I grew up on like Friends, uh, Frasier, Cheers. Loved Cheers way back in the day. Um, always enjoyed Frasier. Always enjoyed Friends. Um, thank you very much, uh, Fork Snippers. Helen Hunt and Paul Schaefer, yep. Oh, absolutely, I had a crush on Topanga. Loved Topanga. Yeah, it's set to live chat. I don't know, it's just a weird, it's just a quirk with, uh, maybe it's, like, maybe it might be a quirk with my phone. With how YouTube works on my phone. Oh, did you make a super chat? Plain cheeseburger? Weird. Super chats actually usually show show up. Did I have a crush on Dan? Probably. Seinfeld? I, I briefly liked Seinfeld. Roseanne? I did like Roseanne. The panga seems so my type. Yeah. See you, Space Cowboy? That'd be a nice shirt. I do have a See you, Space Cowboy pin. Sorry, Plank Cheeseburger, if I missed your super chat. What does the girl who played Topanga look like now, anyway? Uh, Danielle Fisher, what does she look like these days? Official. Still good looking. Danielle Fischel is still a good looking woman. Pull it up on screen. Still a pretty good looking woman. Anonymous. Uh, do you have a PayPal? I do not have a PayPal anonymous, but I do have a Kofi. Uh, it's uh, on the about on my about page. So if you go to my uh, channel's about page, um, then yeah, I do have a uh, coffee there. How many do we need to three hundred? Uh, let's see where I'm at now. Uh, negative four to get to 300. I'm at 304 now. I actually am at 304. Uh, thank you very much, Jenna. And congratulations to the people who got it. So yeah, thank you, Jenna, for the 10 gift memberships. And congratulations to the people who got the uh, who got gifted. Shit. It's like 400 bucks I'm making from gift uh, from memberships alone this month. Yeah, I'm making like, holy shit, anonymous. 
I'll just send a super chat instead. Just want to say, keep your head up. You're a good guy. Holy shit. Thank you very much, Anonymous. Thank you so, so much. Wow. Holy shit. Hearts in the chat for Anonymous. God damn. 50 bucks. Holy shit. So yeah, so this month I'm making like 400 bucks from memberships alone this month, and then I've gotten hundreds of dollars of Super Chat, so. It's possible. Uh, it's possible I may end up breaking $2,000 this month. Chip Skip, happy vibes. Thank you very much, Chip Skip, as well. Estimated revenue, $1,200. Almost My estimated revenue this month is almost $1,300 more than usual. That's hilarious to me. <laughs> uh, Rachel, hey, we want you to win. Keep how much you make to yourself. I don't know, that was just, it's just a lot of money. Special amounts? Uh, no, May, I haven't put any special amounts yet. I need to get around to that one of these days. Say some. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll try to save as much as I can. Um, I do have some other stuff to catch up on. Yeah. Got a couple expenses. It'll be nice to sort of get ahead on. So. Uh, Ashley Lamborghini. Suffolk King also just get to do 10 memberships. Uh... But we can still block him. Thank you very much, Sofa King. Uh, uh, just get to 10. Thank you very much, Sofa King. Uh, where are we now? I suppose that put me like 320 ish, probably somewhere by now. 315. 315. Your roommate can do this for a living, so can you. Well, like, Chantel is able to do it for a living because she's... Chantel, I will say, Chantel gets a lot of attention because she's kind of a mess. Hey, Denise the bro. Go, go. Thank you very much. Uh, like, she's a bit... She, like, she's got the whole... She's got drama that, follow, that uh, brings in views. So that's a big part of why she succeeds. She bring, She is surrounded by drama, which helps. Willing to degrade herself for money. I mean, what I will say, you filthy animal, is I'm not sure how much she's deliberately degrading herself. Left for 45 minutes and you had 172, and I have over 300 members. Yep. So sorry, I missed most of your live at a very important phone call. Eh, I hope the phone call went well for you, DG. I think it's awesome you've offered the memberships, but also leave the chat open. It's great. I'd try, Charlotte. I got it. Yeah. Left me a train wreck once in a while. Yeah. A lot of people enjoy watching train wrecks. Yeah. How do you get memberships? No idea, Chip. I'll let this all go to my head. Oh, I won't. I still want to uh, get an actual job. Grading is a legit kink. Yep. Yeah. I mean, I still want to get an actual job. Uh, Jordan? No, it's a one month thing. Uh, gift memberships uh, are just for one month. And then, yeah. Does she have a cell phone problem? No. No, she doesn't have a uh, cell phone problem. And I mean, it's not like she's... And like, she's not trying to degrade herself or anything. And she's not... She's just like... She's just a naturally dramatic person. 
and that's interesting. More bookstores hiring. Uh, the, the ones that are hiring have already hired Sweet Samsara and turned me down. So, uh, hey, Megan Reedy. She's not a horrible person. She's not at all. Would you move to Toronto? If I could afford it. More bookstores in Toronto. Um, I will say I'm not moving anywhere before Chantel gets home. We need intelligent messes like trivia tomorrow. Uh, do I own a thesaurus? I don't have a thesaurus in my apartment. Or a dictionary. Why, like, thesaurus.com. You know, like, there's dictionary.com, and, like, dictionary.com also has the thesaurus.com. So if I need to, if I need to use a thesaurus, that's what the internet is for. Uh, live alone, or maybe with roommates. Uh, I don't know, Brooke. I don't really want to live with a stranger, but. She very, very rarely actually lies. Because you, tomorrow, I'll do the quiz tomorrow. Live with a stranger in Newark? No. Do you think you'd be able to control your rages? Well, yeah, size queen. Yeah. I've had real jobs. And like, you know, customer service, you can just put the customer on mute whenever you need to rant. Um, when I worked at Walmart, yeah, I controlled my anger. Uh, was I friends with Shannon? Nah, I was never friends with, Sh with Shannon. Strip club in here. You had people making it rain. Changes her mind a lot? Yes, Marshmallow. She absolutely changes her mind a lot. Uh, I mean, she is absolutely an impulsive person. And she's, you know, she admits that. Uh, oh, hey, cool. Nancy? Hopefully not. Oh, uh, good night, Ziggy. No tea. People should work in some form of customer service. Yeah. Uh, how am I? How many members? I'm up to like 330 members, I think. Porn trivia? No, we're not doing porn trivia. How much does one bedroom for yourself cost? Uh, I'd be looking in Ottawa. I'd still be looking eight nine eight nine hundred dollars. Eight hundred to a thousand. Eight hundred dollars up, like minimum minimum eight hundred dollars for a uh, for a shitty ass bachelor pad bachelor apartment. Like, for the absolute shittiest fucking apartment in Ottawa, I'd be like at $800. So it's going to be looking... Yeah, it is. Do more cooking videos? Yeah, I'll abs absolutely will. Post membership link? Uh, I don't even... Uh, it'd be pain in the ass to get it while I'm on my phone. Star Trek trivia? That would be fun. Would I keep my bachelor pad clean? Three twenty-five per two thousand square foot home. Eight hundred dollars include a small kitchen. It might include like a kitchenette. Like I said, it'd be for a shitty bachelor apartment. It's uh, Ontario is pretty expensive. Like, Ontario as a whole is pretty expensive these days. 
Hey, Chloe. Super chatted for a vacuum stream a while back. Time to celebrate with clean floors. Favorite stuffed animal? Hey, Midnight Sun. Can't find out how to get a membership. Oh, hey, J Dot. My stuffed animal. The rental housing market? Yeah. So cute. Yeah. I need something. Like, whenever I'm sleeping, I need something. Like, for my arm position, for arm placement. Would I live in a tiny home? Yeah, I don't know. Meatloaf? Uh, the meatloaf was okay. Bet that it stinks. No, it doesn't stink. A body pillow is what I really want. Like, I really need to get a body. I really want to get a body pillow. Chantelle used to have one. And whenever I, like, sneak into, whenever I, like, go into her room to bug her, um, I'd, like, lay with the body pillow and, I'd, like, start getting tired, so, like, start getting sleepy so fast. Tally body pillow. Anime girl on it. I don't know what kind like I was thinking about that. Like, would I want to would I want to get one with like an anime character? It's kind of creepy, but it's like it'd be kind of amusing. Cyber Monday? Nah, I didn't do any Cyber Monday shopping. And like, who would I want to get? Like, who would I get on a body pillow? You know, like, I'd probably want like an X Men one. Blow up doll. Sailor Moon. Eh. Your mom. All right. That was good timing on that one, Nancy. Asuka. I'd want to get, like, Storm or, like, Ms. Marvel. Um, Dan K. Jensen? Nah. Do I not like hot anime women? I mean... Sure, Mia. Wolverine. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Laura, Laura Kinney, great. Like, Laura Kinney, Wolverine. All new Wolverine, she'd be good. Kelly Bear. No, not, like, comic book storm. Like, comic book storm, not fucking movie storm. Peach? Peach would be, Peach would probably be pretty fun. Uh, Peach would be a good one. Jason Momoa. Hot anime women are one of the best things in life. A national Lamborghini. Hey, Xander. Judge Judy. Ugh. What after dinner? Meatloaf. Day Valentine. I do like Cowboy Bebop. Oh, hey, Harlow. Get nightmares with Ashley. Um, yeah, I mean, I'd probably want like a comic book one. Hey, Jerry. Uh, the meatloaf. The meatloaf was okay. Watching Love and Law and Order shows on BBC. Uh, cumbersome, yes, you did miss the food. It was okay. Matt Mickelson. Rebecca Romaine is Mystique. Again, I don't really... 
I don't really give a shit about the movies. Sailor Mars. Favorite Christmas movie? Muppet Family Christmas. Like, bar none. Muppet Family Christmas is my absolute favorite uh, Christmas movie. Loved that one when I was a kid. I had it taped from the TV. Like, we... Uh, I haven't watched it, like... I went a few years where I wasn't watching it most years. But, uh... Let the family Christmas still free on. Yep. Just as a uh, just as a quick note, Muppet Family a Muppet Family Christmas is still available for free on YouTube. Just in case anyone was wondering, Honey Muffin, welcome, Muppet Christmas Carol. Muppet Christmas Carol is good too, but I didn't watch that one until I was an adult. Like, I only watched that one a few years ago with Chantel. Um, but no, A Muppet Family Christmas was one that I grew up with. Because uh, we had taped it off the TV. Which means that we actually apparently missed a couple minutes at the start and a couple minutes at the end. For some reason. And uh, Fraggle Rock is a little bit before my time. I, don't, I have no memories of Fraggle Rock. And... Uh, because it was taped from TV, um, a few ads made, a few commercials made it onto our recording. So, man, old like 1987 com TV commercials. Never seen a single Muppets movie. I haven't watched many Muppets movies. My fan of Jessica Jones. Yeah, Jessica Jones is cool. She's a good character. I uh, recently reread. Uh, I recently read. Um, I mean, rec recently, a couple years ago, uh, I did read Alias, the uh, series she debuted in, and uh, it was really good. I did not watch the season finale. I never. I didn't watch the series finale of Dinosaurs. I didn't watch the final episode of Dinosaurs, and. Uh, I really liked the, is it Kelly Thompson? Yeah, Kelly Thompson did a uh, Jessica Jones run not long ago that I enjoyed. Seen the Muppets, but not the Christmas movie. Muppet Family Christmas is really just an excuse to have a bunch of Muppet, like all the various Muppet characters so all the Sesame Street characters, the Muppets, uh, the Fraggle Rock characters, um, the Muppet Babies. There was a uh, Muppet Babies bit in there. So it was just an excuse to get like all the Muppet characters at the time together and have them sing Christmas songs. Gem and the Holograms. Loved the, uh, the Gem and the Holograms comic. Never watched the Gem and the Holograms cartoon or the movie. But I ne like I never watched Gem and the Holograms, but I did read the comic by uh, Thompson and Campbell and other artists. Return of the Jedi was half Muppets. There. I do think like while every fucking eight while every uh, '80s franchise ha uh, is getting remakes, I do think that they should do a new gem. Uh, TV show. Clever and quite salty humor in the Muppets. Sometimes, yeah. Like, it's weird to me that Jem hasn't gotten a uh, a new TV show, new cartoon, or live action. Um, Because, I mean, the original doesn't hold up. The fact is, the 80s Jem and the Hologram doesn't hold up. It's dated. It's old and feels old and just does not work anymore. Um, if you didn't grow up on, if you didn't grow up on 80s Gem and the Holograms, it's impossible to enjoy. Like, that's my feeling. If you did not grow up with the 80s Gem and the Holograms, it is impossible to enjoy it. Um, it's just not good. 
But, you know, as long as every 80s thing is being remade, why not just do that? She-Ra? Yeah, I mean, She-Ra and the Princess of Power was amazing. She-Ra on Netflix? Fantastic show. Such a great, well-made series. Um, And, like, as far as, like, a, as far as like a, a gem and the holograms remake, there's already a, a fantastic blueprint for them with the gem comics. They could just adapt the Thompson and Campbell uh, comic run, make it anim- make it animated, and just like don't even bother changing. Like make barely any changes to the script, just an animated and that's and you got it. Yeah. Uh good night, Sapphire. Cause that comic was so good. The entire, like the entire run with all the with all the artists, um, the spin-offs, so fucking good. And I mean, some amazing artists. Uh, Sophie Campbell, Meredith McLaren, Jen St. Ange. Like some incredible artists uh, involved in it. Show feet, no, Gia. So why not do like why not do a modern day take on Gem and the Holograms? What is Dazzler? A uh, comic book character, Diana. She is a uh, superhero. She's a she's a mutant. She's one of the X Men, but she's also like a performer, a singer. Uh, good night, Sunshine Granny. No, Dazzler has nothing to do with my taint. Blood Voltron. Yeah, like the uh, the recent Voltron remake. A lot of people love uh, that Voltron. Gargoyles. Yeah, Gargoyles was really good. All I should be singing is modern music, which is just remixed 80s music. How do I like single life? It's weird. Uh, Darkwing Duck, yeah, I loved Darkwing Duck back in the day. I loved that one. I remember watching it when it did de- when it debuted. Brother's apartment turned down recently. Oof, love his original comics one with it. Oof. Any like any particularly valuable comics, filthy animal? Good night, whoever's leaving. Everything is woke. Everything was always woke, Rick. Fuck Mary Kill, Hannah Montana, Miley Cyrus, Bailey Ray Cyrus. Salad fingers, no. Yeah, like, when people complain about, like, oh, everything's so woke the- nowadays. I mean, when was it not? Like, do you not remember, like, how, like, every 80s and 90s uh, series had a cast that was, like, one white person, one black, or, you know, white person, black person, Asian person, Latin, uh, Latin person, disabled person? Like, do you not remember how every show used to have, like, a literal fucking checklist of people from different, uh, fuck, Mary kill, Kermit, Elmo, Cookie Monster, fuck Cookie Monster, Mary Kermit, kill Elmo. And, like, comic books were always woke.
Superman's very first villain, the very first villain that Superman fought was a landlord. Yeah. He wasn't, he didn't start off fighting alien invaders. He started off fighting people who were exploiting the lower class. Like, that's what he was created to do. He was the power, power fan. I have to see if a couple of, couple of Jewish guys pissed off about, like, about systemic injustice. And again, like he's a he's a journalist who spends a lot of time fighting against a corrupt businessman. You're going to tell me that shit's not woke? Blazing Saddles to be canceled today. Get that bullshit. Bull fucking shit. Like, come on. Some of the humor would be, would be different. There are certain jokes that would be different. Because good comedians, a good comedian uh, stays with the times. You know, a good comedian looks at what's going on, looks at the state of the world and state of society, and changes their humor, changes their jokes to fit their audience. So would so would it be the same movie? No, of course it wouldn't. Because it's not the fucking 70s anymore. They're not going to do this. They're not going to have same jokes uh, that they would have had 50 years ago. Of course not. It's not the 70s. So yeah, some of the comedy would be different. But you could absolutely make a movie like that today. People do make movies like that today. Jordan Peele makes movies like that today. Young Jordan Peele movies are like all about racial shit. Or at least some of them are. But I mean, there are people making movies that way. Rick Sanchez mad that the Starbucks cups don't say Merry Christmas. Yeah. Like it's this whole like Oh, you couldn't make this movie today? You could. You could make Blazing... I will actually say this. One key reason you would not... One key reason that Blazing Saddles would not be made today. Nobody gives a shit about Westerns. Nobody's given a shit about Westerns in 40 years. That's why you couldn't make Blazing Saddles today. There's no market for Westerns. That's like, that's the big problem. Which is why instead, uh, they would make a movie about something else. Like they would make a similar movie about, you know, satira using a different genre to poke fun at, um, at social standards. And by the way, who was the villain? Who were the antagonists in Blazing Saddles? Tell me that, Rick Sanchez. Do you remember who the villains of Blazing Saddles were? KKK? Not the KKK, no. The villains were corporatists. The villains were a corporation. It was the railroad tycoons. The villains were the rich people. They were the, like, the, the bad guys in Blazing Saddles were... Rich capitalists. 
No, Dan. Uh, Dixie. The, the, uh, the people in the town, the villagers, were not actually the villains. The villains were the capitalists. The movie had a bit of an anti-corporate uh, agenda. Oh, no! How woke! And... Rick, the villains weren't even fucking Jewish, Rick, you fucking idiot. Christ. It was capitalists. It was rich people. And like, again, like, by the standards of the time that the movie was made, it was a woke movie. Blazing Saddles, by the standards of the time, was woke. Explain True Grit, Red Dead Redemption, Westworld, No Country for Old Men, Brokeback Mountain, Spirit, Jane Going, Jane Drinker. Exceptions. Um, styrofoam. I would say that they are exceptions. Beyond that, they are well-made movies that just happen to be uh, westerns. But westerns as a whole are not really around anymore. Put my member link up. Uh, I don't even know how to do it here uh, on uh, my phone. Gene Wilder was the best Willy Wonka. He was the Willy Wonka who wasn't an abusive douchebag. Rick Sanchez is mad that women wear pants. Yeah, like, that's the thing. Like, people are like, oh, you couldn't make Blazing Saddles today. Yeah, by the standards of the time, Blazing Saddles was what you would consider fuck what you would have been considering fucking woke back then. A lot of the shit that, like, people are like, oh, you couldn't make this movie today, at the time was actually pretty fucking progressive. It was pretty woke. And if it was made today, the people who'd be whining loudest about it are the whole anti-woke brigade. Yeah, like It's just like it's the people who complain about wokeism are so fucking stupid. Do I think the WWF attitude era would work today? Um, hard to say, Anunnaki. I'm not sure what wrestling fans are like today, I think, is sort of the issue. Um, Because, like, Sarah Silverman, um, I was never really big on Sarah Silverman. Favorite comedian? Mitch Hedberg. I loved, I loved his one, uh, his, uh, one-liners. But yeah, like, the WWF, I mean, like, the Attitude Era, like, a big part of the Attitude Era was a blue-collar guy, regular dude, who was... Constantly fighting his boss. I think that would still work today. You know, on like, like I said, I mean, there are certain elements of it that may not play the same. Uh, did I play in 64? Yeah, of course I did. Love the uh, 64. But yeah, there are certain elements of the Attitude Era that may not play the same today. But Never understood the hype around Mitch Hedberg. It's just, it's the speed, I think, VK. And it's like the flat, and it's like this, this the, uh, the delivery. Like, it's just like these quick one-line jokes delivered really straight. Uh, hey, Stephen Strange. 
Um, but yeah, it's like, you know, the attitude, like Stone Cold Steve Austin drinking beers and flipping his boss the the bird? The bird? I don't think that that would be a problem today. I think that that would still play today. So yeah, I think that a lot of the Attitude Era could still work just the same today. Um... Yes, I did play the uh, the N64 WWE and WCW wrestling games. Uh, I preferred the, the WCW ones. WCW versus NWO. Favorite PS2 game? Um, I don't really remember. I mean, I used to be veiled. I did grow up on WWF. I grew up on WWF, but I haven't watched wrestling in you know, 20 odd years, over 20 years. Man of Green Gables, best of all time. Stone Cold and The Rock was a good rivalry. What year does Millennial begin? Um, I think like 1980, I think is sort of the cutoff, like 1980 to 19, like 1980 to 2000, I think is generally, I don't know. 1980 to the sometime in the early 90s or something like that. I was king to the Lawlers. Nice. Jet Force Gemini? No. Uh, G no, I am a millennial. NWO with Buff Bagwell. Yeah, Buff. Buff Bagwell was not a great person. R.I.P. Macho Man and Miss Elizabeth. Yeah. Mean Gene Oakland. Yeah, I love, love Mean Gene. Uh, when are the different generations starting to end? Maybe. Um, I don't know the exact, like, I don't know the exact timings. I think there's generally a little bit of overlap here and there. Like, my brother, for example, would be like, My brother would probably be considered... My brother's a millennial, but pretty close to Gen X. Yeah, like, my brother's a millennial, but he's not far... He's not far off from being Gen X. Arguably a little bit of overlap. Arguably, he sort of overlaps. I am pretty firmly a millennial. Technically an exennial. 1990 to 2000. I think mostly millennial. 90 to 2000, I think, is mostly millennial. Okay, so meh. Boomers, 46 to 64. Gen X, 65 to 80. Millennial, uh, 81 to 96. Gen Z. Uh, 97 to 2010. So, meh gave, uh, has the answer on that. Brother is cute. He has a good dancer. I don't know that I've ever actually seen him dance. Yeah, there's Froggy again. Gen X, 65 to 80. Millennials, 81 to 96. Zed, 97 to 2012. Uh, no, I never read or watched any uh, Anne of Green Gables. What are my thoughts on overdraft fees? They're kind of bullshit. Overdraft fees are so fucking stupid. Like, <laughs> like it's just so shitty that it's like, we're going to charge you for not having money.
you've got no money, so you got to give us more money to cover the new money that you have. Fuck off. Fucking banks. Against interest on loans? Uh, well, no, it's not that I'm against interest on loans. Um, you know, it makes sense to charge some interest. I think that interest rates are sometimes too high. Um, fuck off, Rick. But, um, no. Interest is a necessity. I think, like, I think what it comes down to is interest is a necessity. Interest on loans is a necessity because loaning money out is a risky venture. Um, and, you know, it is often necessary for people to take out loans. Like, loans are sort of a necessity of civilization. Uh, they're necessity. They're an economic necessity. Um, nobody's going to be in, uh, going to be willing to loan out money if they're not getting anything back from it. So it's it's one of those things where it's a requirement. Uh, I do think that I think interest rates on some interactions are way too are way are too high. Um, like the uh, for example, like payday loan places. Holy shit, those fucking places are predatory. The interest rates on payday uh, from payday loan places are just fucking disgusting. Um, thoughts on Trump? I don't think that Trump can win the presidency again, but. It's hard to say. Um, and I mean, even payday loans are exploitative. They are. They absolutely are. But no, it's like For the most part, interest is, you know, it's a necessary evil. Favorite constellation? Uh, I guess the Big Dipper, because it's easy to see. So, yeah, I guess, like, by and large, interest rates charged by banks are a necessary evil of economic reality. They've existed for thousands of years. Uh, no, I haven't talked to her boyfriend. I don't like talking to people. Happened the last time you were abducted by aliens? I have never been abducted by aliens. Yeah, I mean, like, interest on loans has been a thing for thousands of years. The Bible has rules regarding how to cover interest. So, they're pretty much, it's pretty much a necessity. It's pretty much an economic uh, reality. 
you know, you're not getting rid of uh, of interest of uh, of interest on loans. But I do think that uh, overdraft fees fucking suck. Even Shakespeare wrote about it. Yep. Yeah. I do hate... Uh... Oh, no, I still haven't looked up uh, Wim Hof. I do still think overdraft fees are bullshit. Well, no. Of course, trans women don't go through menopause, Gia. No one can afford life, pretty much. Why not? Why do they not go through... Because they don't have ovaries. Trans men can go through uh, menopause, though. That if you're a day late on a credit card, dang, 35 bucks, yeah. Canada does have somewhat better uh, regulations in place regarding uh, how banks are covered. Uh, do they take less estrogen and have menopause experience? Uh, I have no idea, Gia. I honestly don't know. Like cooking tomorrow? Probably not. I did make uh, extra meatloaf, so I will probably have the more meatloaf tomorrow. Uh, no, Rick. I mean trans men. You fucking... Might want to let me fucking block his ass. Yeah, I mean trans men, you transphobic sack of shit. Go fuck yourself, Rick. Is it being so fucking weird right now? One second. Damn, I'm gonna have to do it a different way. There we go. There we go. Finally fucking got it. Guy's been a guy's been a shitty ass annoying fucking troll uh ever since he showed up in my chat. Guy's fucking sucked since he showed up. But yeah, now he's gonna start uh pushing transphobia, so yeah, fuck him. He can just fucking rot.
and leaving. He has. And like, you know, accusing me of being anti-Semitic. Because I criticize rich people? <laughs> yeah. Got fed up with him. I, yeah, I absolutely do not stand for, for prejudice in here. Favorite car? Nah, I don't really have one. I don't really care that much about cars, honestly. Uh, which movie do I like best? Uh, I mean, First Contact. Yeah. Star Trek First Contact has got to be my favorite of the Star Trek movies. It's just a really good movie. Um, yeah, some good action, but it also has, like, a lot of stuff that, like, sort of gets... Yeah, it's got a lot of good character moments uh, throughout as well. Um, Wrath of Khan is also really good uh, for much the same reason. It's exciting, but has some great character work. Um, Voyage Home, also really good, really fun. Voyage Home is probably the most... Voyage Home is probably the most unapologetically fun Star Trek movie. Uh, okay. Uh Bye, Jenna. And uh, do we even have middle class? Barely Anunnaki. It's barely holding on. And then Undiscovered Country is the other really good Star Trek movie. Uh, someone who's never seen Star Trek, where should I start? Um, I might actually go so far as to recommend starting with Discovery. Star Trek Discovery. You could go back and watch uh, Star Trek Next Generation. The first season is really rough, though. Uh, I'm honestly not sure how... how it can... how it got a second season, considering how bad the first season of the Next Generation is. Um, so, I mean, you could go back and start with the Next Generation. Still, it... It is a little bit dated. The first, e I mean, even after the first season, first season in particular is just really bad and dated. Um, gonna start with Discovery. Yeah, Discovery is modern. Discovery is like, it's a contemporary show. It is, you know, it's a modern day Star Trek. It's Star Trek for modern viewers. Um, I do really enjoy it. Swedish Fish. Uh, nah, I've never watched any Alfred Hitchcock. Don't want to get hungry either, or later? What snacks are for? Sliders. I watched a little bit of sliders. I watched a few episodes of sliders. I try Mar Marley. I try to keep it a uh, friendly place. And a lot of other people in here uh, do try to keep it friendly. That's my depression, Ben. Eh, it's still there. Still kicking. I uh, haven't put the other meatloaf in the fridge just yet, yeah. I'll do that after my life. I'll get off soon and uh, go do that. Bond. I've never really watched much Bond. Bond has never really been a, uh, my thing. 
Galaxy Quest. Never watched that one. Comics I've been reading. Uh, I've been trying to get caught up on some uh, web comics. Um, there's a couple in particular that I really need to get caught up, get caught back up on. Really need to get back to uh, Gunner Craig Court. Uh, been like three years um, since I read Gunner Craig Court. So I really, really, really need to get caught back up on that one. Um, Sidekick Girl. As I, go, I do read Laura Olympus. Uh, I, I read that one on Webtoons. I do want to get the uh, the collected book, the uh, the volumes. Um, so I do want to get, I do want to buy the Laura Olympus graphic novels. But I do read Laura Olympus. Uh, love it. Um, what else? What else do I need to get caught up on? Webcomic called Ruby Whipple that I want to get caught up on. Order of the Stick I need to get caught up on. Love to cosplay Hera. Ray Hera's cool. And I mean, there are, and there's also actually a bunch of comics on Webtoons that I do want to read that I just never make the time for. I've read it like the first book, I guess you could call it, of the Uniques. So I do need to finish up reading the Uniques. Uh, I've read a couple of uh, Tamaki's comics. Uh, I do have a Super Mutant. Oh, what's that one? Shit. Shit, what's that Super Mutant uh, Academy? So I do have that one. Um, I've got a couple of the books that she did with uh, her cousin, Mariko. Uh, so like I've got this one, Summer. And I think I might have one other uh, of their comics. Super Mutant Magic Academy. Yes, comic book. Thank you. Yeah, there are a few others that I do want to read. Um, Boundless, uh, I need to read. I think I have, I'm pretty sure I've got Skim. That's another one that she did with uh, her cousin. So I'm pretty sure I've got that one. Yes, uh, almost positive that I do have uh, skim. My Doka Magic, I have not. So yeah, I've only read a. I've only I read three of Jillian Tamaki's uh, comics. There's a couple others that I do want to read. Kind of melancholic, yeah, for sure. Or magical girl anime. What time is it? It's uh ten past ten. Or ten past nine. It's ten past nine. Warhammer 40k books are fun. I've never read any, like I've never gotten involved in any Warhammer stuff, but it does seem like a really fun setting. You know, some, you know, just fun satire and shit. Time do I normally go to bed? Like five in the morning. Usually go to bed at like 5 a.m.
McDonald's money, welcome. And uh, okay, good night, uh, Elise. I'm just not like I have a job. I don't have anything to do, so I'm a I'm a night person naturally. Like I'm just naturally a night person, so insomnia, yeah. Get some sun. No. Come on. The time you get up. Couldn't be me. Hey, Tiffany. Here. Yeah, I'm feeling better today. Hope you take vitamin D. I don't. I should, I know, but I don't. Hey, wait, Bowen. Uh, bye, Elise. How was meatloaf? It was okay. Dysthymia? I've never even heard of dysthymia. Try sleeping at night. Make me happier. I doubt it. Inverted elbows. Yep. I do. What do I think was missing from Mila? Um, I don't think anything was missing, Harlan. Um, I think. I think the onion chunks were probably too big. Um, I think I probably did need to make the onion chunks a little a bit uh, smaller. Um, beyond that, I probably should have uh, put the, I actually probably should have put the uh, ketchup on earlier. Um, like I think I did need to put the ketchup on the uh, meatloaf uh, earlier than I did. And I wish I'd actually like been able to drain the uh, the juices because it coagulated a little bit. I know for next time. Yep. Terry, no, I didn't. My legs were never that bendy. Cooking is trial and error. Yep. Sure it helps I car caramelize. Tweaking my recipe. Would have helped to actually have a recipe. Put tomato sauce on when I put it in the oven. At least gave it the color to try. Yep. Did I have a time in junior high where you lived as a goat and ate books in the library? No, I did not. I would never eat a book, Gia. Would never read a book. My friend's staying the night and she snores extremely loud. It's impossible to sleep. And I also have a cat in my face that refuses to leave. Cracker barrel meatloaf. Hey, sausage. I probably, I'll probably actually be getting off very soon. Gone to black and white movies a year or so ago. Those are really good. I've, I haven't really watched many black and white movies. Some of my worst customers I dealt with working from Walmart. I don't really remember the uh, customers. The there is one cus or one order I remember. It's two women. Uh came in. They had like four carts of stuff. They had a lot of um, like they were like it was like they were going for things that were on sale. 
Um, and they had a bunch, of, they had four carts full of stuff and uh, a whole ton of uh, coupons. Um, it wasn't bad. Like, it wasn't a bad order. Like, they were pleasant. They, like, they were nice. They were pleasant. Um, kind of apologetic. Kind of apologetic about the whole thing. <laughs> and, like, you know, they were friendly and everything and chatting. Um, so it wasn't, like, it wasn't bad. It was just so much stuff. Like I said, it was just, uh, and like a lot of stuff that was like, mul like uh, multiples of a lot of things. Like it wasn't even that they had, it wasn't even that they had lar uh, a wide variety of items. It was that they had a few items, but a lot of them. So that order, that order sticks out just because of like, holy shit. This is going to take a while. Not that it makes it like, not that it makes a difference that like, I'm scanning one way or the other. I'm going to be scanning a shit ton of items. Hey, Mimi. Whether I'm scanning a ton of items for one person or a ton of items from uh, a dozen people, it's I'm going to be doing a lot of scanning. That's the job. So were they extreme couponer, couponers? I don't know that they were extreme, but yeah, they were. They did have a lot. Can't move the cat. I know cats are hard to move, Ellie. Who wants to move cats? It's just like, oh, they're so quiet. They're so comfortable. Uh, hey, West Coast Last. No, I have not gotten a job yet. I haven't even looked yet. I think I'm gonna get off now. Like I am actually gonna end the uh, the live here. Hey Brooklyn Woo, bad timing. It's been almost three and a half hours, so I think I'm ready to uh, to end the live here. Uh, no West Coast last. I was talking about a uh, story from when I back when I worked at Walmart. Four was was that like four or five years ago now? Jeez, that was a while ago now. Um, anyway, so thanks for coming. Um, I will try to do like some sort of trivia thing tomorrow. That's what I'll try to do tomorrow, some sort of trivia thing. We'll see. But for now, good night.